We had a long time to compare harvesters, so we decided in this video to compare the current largest case combine against the largest combine of Fent brand. Even if case prepares a new larger model than this one in the video, it is not available on the market yet. So we will compare the case Axial Flow 9250 against the largest Fent combine, the Ideal 10T. Both are massive in size and they offer the best performance in the field. So let's compare them and see which comes first on power size and overall threshing output in the field. If you like our channel subscribe and share this video. Also hit the like button that it is important for us. Both harvesters are the best in the world and they offering new technologies. So enough talk, let's compare. As about the engine. The case wears the FPT Cursor 16 diesel turbo aftercooler of 15.9 liters and 6 cylinders, stage 2, with a max fuel tank capacity of 1,200 liters and 166 liters of AdBlue. It is the second largest engine of Fiat powertrain technologies after the FPT Vector V20. Fent from the other side wears a slightly larger engine, the MAN of 16.2 liters and 6 cylinders, stage V, with 1,250 or 1,500 liters fuel tank capacity and 180 liters of AdBlue tank, so as about the engine the Fent comes larger with more fuel capacity than Case. The rated power of Case Combine is at 550 horses and it can touch the 625 max boost. The Fent is much larger with 790 horses rated power, so it takes the crown here. Fent does not use a boost power so the 790 horses are the overall force. The grain tank capacity of the Axial Flow is at 14,448 liters with 159 liters per second unloading rate. Fent's grain tank capacity is higher, at 17,700 liters and 210 liters per second unloading rate, so Fent comes first on grain tank performance too. The feeder width of case is at 1.37 meters and the length is at 2.38 meters. The feeder width of Fent is at 1.39 meters and the length is smaller, at 0.6 meters, so as about the width they are nearly the same, but cases is much longer. As about the rotor size, case uses just one rotor and the overall size of it is 2.6 meters long, 76.2 centimeters diameter and the rotor speeds up to 1180 revolutions per minute. Fent uses dual helix threshing mechanism, the rotor length is at 4.83 meters and 60 centimeters diameter and the rotor speed up to 1160 revolutions per minute, so Fent takes the crown on rotor size and the basic difference is that case uses only one, also Fent works on slightly lower revolutions. The total separating area of case is at 2.98 square meters, fence is much higher, at 4.54 square meters. The cleaning fan speed of case is up to 1150 revolutions per minute, fence higher revolutions, up to 1400. The total sieve area of case is at 6.9 square meters, fence is smaller, at 5.4 square meters. The top road speed of case is at 40 km per hour, with 2100 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed, wearing the Power Plus DMC VT transmission. Some of the cabine features are, additional storage compartments, leather wrapped steering wheel, electric heated mirrors, standard portable fridge, portable fridge can be removed to take home. To clean and repack for the next day, fridge comes with two power cords one for the pickup and one for the combine. Three available lighting packages to suit your needs, right-hand console groups controls by function, AFS Pro 700 display provides operator to machine interface, convenient storage compartment. Integrated within the HVAC system provides heating cooling for beverages, cell phone cradle with USB power port easy reach and readability, separate power outlet, optional cloth or high back leather seat, optional Bluetooth registered radio, instructional seat backrest flips down to create a work surface, double duty side seat serves as work surface or lunch cooler and more. The top road speed of Fend is also at 40 km per hour, with 1,900 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed, wearing the Fent Ideal CVT ground drive transmission. This combine does not use a steering wheel unlike the rest models or other combines of the market. For a better view of the table, the Fent Ideal offers a revolutionary concept ideal drive. Instead of using a steering wheel, you control the combine harvester. With a joystick on the left armrest, the left hand steers while the right hand controls the speed. It means you have a great view to the front. The joystick's control and intuitive response are proportional to the driving speed. And the steering lock angle on the wheel. Some of the cabine features are, Vision Cab, Deluxe Operator's Air Suspended Driver Seat, Automatic Climate Control, Electrically Adjustable Heated Exterior Mirrors, Additional Wide Angle Mirror, Additional LED Work Lights, Work Light Full LED, Radio, Multimedia Navigation, reversing camera, 
360 degrees camera system, cooler compartment integrated into the passenger seat, loss indicator, pro sound system, power fold swingable entry ladder, roller blinds for side windows, pro sound system and more. So we saw the overall output of these two, let's now see the size. The basic weight of the tracked axial flow is at 21,000 kg and the wheeled one at 19,863 kg, Fend is heavier, at 26,807 kg on crawler edition or 23,000 kg on wheeled edition, so Fend is much heavier. The max length of case is at 8 meters, Fend is longer, at 10.6 meters. The width of both is at 3.49 meters. The height of the cab of the case is at 3.98 meters, Fend almost the same, at 3.99 meters. So as a conclusion, the largest Fend is bigger and stronger than the current largest case combined. Fend has larger engine, higher horsepower, higher grain tank with faster unloading speed, dual rotors longer than the one of case, wider feeder, higher total separating area, it is a heavier and longer combine. Case from the other side is higher total sieve area, the combine's one rotor has larger diameter than fence do, longer feeder and a cleaning fan speed on lower RPM, smaller fuel tank and smaller at blue tank also. So friends, we waiting to see if the new case AF11 will surpass the Fend Ideal 10T, but these numbers are hard to be beaten, the comparison with the AF11 or the new CR11 will be more equal against the 10T, so until now which of the two you believe will perform better on threshing conditions? The 9250 Axial Flow or the Ideal 10T? Our money goes to Ideal, it is one of the strongest combines ever built in and the Agco company is very compete on power size and performance as about large agriculture machines. If you want to save fuel from the other side, case is your option for sure, as the FPT engines are very economical, also smaller fuel tank, smaller engine, less power, less fuel use. The only combine that can compete the 10T Black Beast is the Kloss Lection 8900. Waiting your comments, do not forget to subscribe, until next time, see you.